What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this week we have something a little different for you. If you follow our channel, uh, if you follow us on Instagram or any, any of the social media, you'll know that we really enjoy barbecuing. I love to barbecue, I love cooking on my Traeger uh, tailgate or pellet grill. So this week uh, I'm going to show you how I cook uh, one of the meals that I get the most compliments on when we cook for family or something like that, uh, and that is pulled pork. Uh, also going to show you what you can do with your leftover pulled pork so you're not eating pulled pork for three straight days. Uh, everybody knows pulled pork makes a lot. Uh, so if you're just cooking for a few people, I'm going to show you some ways that you can stretch that out over a few meals and uh, get some really unique and delicious meals out of it. So stay tuned. So for starters, you only need a few things to make an awesome pulled pork. Uh, first thing is going to be mustard. I like to use mustard on my pulled pork as a binder. I also use it on ribs as a binder just to help hold the rub on. The rub we're using is the Weber brown sugar dry rub. Uh, awesome, awesome rub. Super delicious. Gives it just a little bit of a sweet flavor, uh, but not overly sweet. Uh, gives it just a, a nice, really nice flavor after uh, you get all done smoking your pork. So we're going to flip it over, we're going to do the same thing on the top, mustard, and then uh, we're going to add our Weber rub. You know, you can be really generous with this rub, you don't have to hold back on it. Uh, you can go ahead and just load it down. You're not going to over season pulled pork, it's such a huge piece of meat that you can put a lot of seasoning on it and uh, it's not going to be over seasoned. From there we head to the grill with it, we put it on the Traeger. 250 degrees. Uh, I like to cook my pork for about an hour and 15 minutes per pound. So this big seven pound pork is going to take about nine hours. After five hours I come out, I add it into a pan, uh, and then I cover it up really tight. Uh, I'll get into why I like to cook it in a pan here in just a minute, but the key is making sure that that pan is sealed up really really tight uh, with your heavy duty foil on top. Uh, you don't want to lose any heat that's really going to help make that pork really tender uh, when it's all done. So once we get this uh, foil on there, check around the edges, make sure the foil is nice and secure around the bottom of the pan so we don't lose any heat out of there. And uh, then we're going to head back to the grill with it and we're going to come back out and check this thing in about four hours. So now we're back out, it's time to check the temperature on it. I'm looking for 205 degrees at least in the middle. You can see here we've passed 205, we're at 207, 208. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of probe that pork uh, all through there and make sure that it's really tender. That probe should go in super, super easy. And that's really gonna tell you that your pork is tender. After it rests for about an hour, we're gonna uncover it. Uh, it's still going to be plenty hot. It's still going to be you know, really way too hot to touch even after resting for an hour. Uh, that foil is going to hold in a lot of heat. And that's how you tell if you've got it nice and tender. That bone is going to slide out of there with no problem at all. I could have even cooked this one a little bit longer. Uh, the beauty about pulled pork is you really can't overcook it. Uh, you can undercook it, but it's really, really hard to overcook it. And that's it. You're going to shred it up. Uh, and there you have it. You have an awesome pulled pork dinner. If you're just having pulled pork for dinner, then you're all set. Uh, dinner's done, ready to eat, add some barbecue sauce. But tonight, we're not eating pulled pork for dinner. We're gonna show you one of our favorite meals to make using this pulled pork. You can do it with leftovers, you can do it with fresh pulled pork, and that's gonna be uh, pork nachos. These things are ridiculous, uh, but they are absolutely awesome. You're gonna use a bag of Tostitos, the whole bag, put it on a big tray, uh, get you a layer of Tostitos on there. From there, you're going to add your pork to a bowl. You're going to put some barbecue sauce in that bowl to mix it all up really good. Uh, we like the G Hughes Sugar-Free Hickory. It's awesome barbecue sauce. Uh, it, it doesn't have a weird, uh, weird aftertaste like some of the other sugar-free barbecue sauces do. You're going to put a layer of cheese on the top of your nachos. From there, you're going to add 
your pulled pork mixture on top and then you're going to top it with of course more cheese um, once we get all that cheese on there we are ready to go with some diced jalapenos uh, not a lot just a few it's just going to add a little bit of kick to it we're going to add some more g hughes sugar-free hickory barbecue sauce to the top um, put it on there in a little fancy cross back and forth action like that and now these things are ready to go into the oven uh, go into the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes and you've got yourself an awesome awesome meal pulled pork nachos the other meal we like to make with our pulled pork, and we're going to do it here with leftover pulled pork, and that is pulled pork quesadillas. Uh, we have our tortilla shells, we have our sugar-free barbecue sauce again, we've got some fire smoke taco secret seasoning, Kobe Jack cheese, a little bit of olive oil spray. We're going to add the pulled pork to a really hot pan. Uh, what we're trying to do here is char that pulled pork a little bit. Uh, we're going to add our taco secret taco seasoning to the top of it. And then we're just going to mix it all up and just kind of brown that pork up a little bit uh, just to put it get a little bit of a, a little bit of a char on it uh, so it, it's not going to taste exactly like whole pork straight off the grill uh, but it's still going to be tender and delicious add some cheese in there to your mixture and then mix it all up to get the cheese melted uh, once your cheese is all nice and melted in there uh, you're going to add some barbecue sauce to it so just a little bit of barbecue sauce uh, you're just trying to give it just a little bit of barbecue flavor but not really overpower it with the barbecue sauce so mix that up into a nice cheesy barbecue sauce mixture and then you're just going to transfer that all right to a bowl. Now you take your tortilla shell, you lay it out on a plate and you just put a scoop of your pulled pork mixture onto your tortilla shell. You'll see there in the background I've still got my skillet going uh, so it stays nice and hot going to add some cheese to the top of it. I mean this is about as easy as a meal that you can make uh, using pulled pork or using anything. It's just a super super easy meal. Uh, you can fit two of them in a standard size skillet. So we're going to go ahead and make up two quesadillas. Just scoop it out onto your shell, add your cheese, kind of flatten them out a little bit and then you're just going to add them uh, to that nice hot skillet. Uh, I didn't wipe the skillet out, so that skillet still has kind of the uh, the juices and everything in there from where we browned up our pork. So that's just going to all add just a little bit of extra flavor to these quesadillas. Uh, you're just going to kind of pat them down, make sure they get nice and browned. Uh, you're trying to melt the cheese in the middle, and you're trying to just make them nice and crispy on the outside. Time to flip them over. And then once you flip them, you're going to do the same thing, just kind of get them uh, the cheese melted and make sure they're nice and brown on the bottom. So I'm going to take a look at these. They're starting to get brown, but they're not quite there yet. So we're going to give them just a couple more minutes. Check them one more time, and now they look good. Time to move them to the plate. So once you got them on the plate, take a knife, slice them in half. And just like that, with very little effort, uh, you have yourself some awesome, awesome pulled pork quesadillas. And they are fantastic. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Um, you know, pulled pork is not difficult to make. Get it up to 205 before you pull it off the grill. It's gonna shred super easy. And then you can get a delicious pulled pork dinner out of it. You can get some delicious pork quesadillas out of it. And then one of our favorites, the pork nachos. We appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you guys down the road.